Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. For today's video, it's been a little while since I took you guys along with me to the thrift store. So I went to one of my favorite places. It's sort of a thrift store mixed in with an antique store. And I also did a little mini haul at the end to show you guys some of the pieces I ended up getting. Before we get into the whole video, I wanted to say a big thank you to Robo Rock for sponsoring this video. I recently received one of their Robo Rock S7. I tried it out and I love it. It is such a great vacuum. It has a sonic technology that scrubs floors up to 3,000 times per minute. It has a mop, a vacuum combined, and the vacuum has a HEPA E11, which helps to filter and capture up to 95% of particles, including pet dander and mold as well. What's great is the intelligent mop lifts when the carpet is detected, so you can mop hard floors and vacuum carpets in a single clean. So it's sort of like a two-in-one mop and vacuum. What's also good is that it has rubber bristles and it makes it more durable and it's much better with the hair tangles and we all know I got some long hair. So that's such a great feature. It also has a LiDAR navigation system that creates a detailed map of your home and identifies your rooms up to four levels. In my home, I have three floors and the fact that I can actually bring it up to each floor and automatically create a second map for the floor is a plus for me. It is actually a must. All I have to do is just press the button and then it automatically starts mapping the whole floor and then every other time that I'm going to bring it up or bring it down, I just press that little button and it will know exactly where to go. Another great feature is you can restrict some areas and set no-go zones to protect fragile furniture, which is really important, especially when you got vases, floor vases, or even pots, special furniture that you don't want to get ruined. That is definitely really good. I also received their auto empty dock so it makes using the robot vacuum more convenient. The robot goes to the docking station, empties itself automatically. Charging. Emptying dust bin. So you just have to empty the bin every eight weeks. So that saves you with all the hassle of always constantly emptying the dust. So anyway guys if you are interested I will leave all their information down below. Without further ado we're gonna jump right into this video. Enjoy! Thank you. 
now for the haul part, I'm gonna start off with my first pieces. Most of the pieces I ended up getting were home decor. I got one accessory. I wasn't much into the clothing. There was this vest that I wanted to get. I sort of regret not getting. But anyway, so I got a lot of home decor stuff. I'm gonna start off with my first piece. It is this amazing, uh, I guess, vessel, vase, whatever you wanna call it. And it has a cover on it and I love it. It says it's made from Indonesia. It's just so beautiful. It wasn't like some of my other pieces that I have. I thought it was unique. I had gotten this sort of stand that I'll show you guys next time. And it was a black stand and I was looking for something black to put on it. And I thought that this was the perfect piece to put on there so i could not be happier i ended up paying this i think it was 25 dollars a little bit more on the pricey side but i mean when can you have a piece like this it is just so beautiful i just also love all the detailing in the uh, vase it's just it has something so wow about it i had to get it it was speaking to me i got it so that was my first piece moving on to my second piece and this guys was actually not from the antique store. I got this in a separate time, but I still wanted to put it in this video just to show you because it is such a beautiful piece. And I'm gonna tell you a little, well, it's not a story, but anyway, you guys know I love to shop on Facebook Marketplace and I fell upon this vase. So I'm gonna show you the vase. And it is this amazing just oh, perfection. I just love it so much. I had my eye on it and the lady had put it, I think it was $30 and I sort of kept it on the side and I'm like, okay, I don't need another vase. So I sort of just kept it there and I kept looking all the time and at some point she was lowering the price. So it went down, it went, started off at 30 and then went to 15 and then she put it free. She was giving it away. So I end up going and pick it up and I got this vase for free. Can you believe it? I mean, it is just oh, one of my favorite vases. I'm not too sure where it's from. If you know this style of vase, please comment down below. Let me know where it's from. I would love to know. It is just so beautiful and unique and just one of a kind. I put it on my counter with the other vessel there and I just think it looks cool. It brings a little bit of that sort of rust and black color into my kitchen. So that was my other piece. I sort of got a lot of vessels and vases. So my next piece, you saw it in the video, and it is this beautiful rust, like it's, it's really rusted. It's like this sort of antique vase. There's just something that was drawing me to it. I ended up paying it $10. It is so cute. I envisioned it in a specific place, and that's why I got it. I just love that raw look that it has, but yet it has a sort of little antique feel with the little handles on the side there. That was my other piece. Moving on to my next pieces, I end up getting, you saw it also in the video, in the clip, I was looking for books. And you guys are gonna understand why I was looking for books after, because it's the next piece that I got. I was looking for sort of worn out antique books, just in very neutral colors, obviously, to blend properly with my home. I fell on these books. They weren't cheap. They were just beautiful and they had character. They had age on them and worn and torn and just so much beauty. I think they were like $10. Some were $4.99, some of them were $10. Some of them were, one of them, <laughs> my husband was like, he noticed that one of them was, 30 something dollars he's like uh he's like cats he's like for an old book he's like yeah i'm like okay i didn't even notice the price i thought it was sort of the same price as like ten dollars but he's like i don't think so and i'm like yeah you're totally right i shouldn't get this so i end up putting another book back but anyway so i end up getting those books we're gonna move on to my next piece why i got the book and why i got the vase that rust vase if you guys saw in the video there was these sort of bench stacked up on each other and i just fell in love with them. I wanted something to put in the back of my couch here because when you're looking at it from the kitchen, it just looked like the back of a couch and it was just not pretty to look at. I ended up getting two of the benches. What I wanted to create is sort of like stacking of books and then just beautiful pieces on the top just to create eye-catching things, even behind the couch, you know? So when you're in the kitchen, you can see them and it just looks beautiful as well. I end up getting two. I end up putting one here and I end up putting one downstairs in my basement. As soon as you come in, I have these two armchairs. And so I put them in the back there and I 
thought it worked perfectly. And if ever I get fed up or something, I could always change it up, bring them somewhere else. And I just thought that they were super practical. I ended up paying $45 for each bench, which is amazing. I'm not sure if they were like benches from, I don't know, maybe like a school or it's not a church bench. I'm not too sure where they're from. But anyway, I just thought that they were super cute and they had that worn look. And I just love that the legs sort of did like an X. I could not be happier of those benches. So we're gonna go into my last piece and it is, it's either gonna be a hit or miss. I had seen a purse on Zara and it was very similar to this, but it was I think $50. And I was debating whether or not to get it. And then I fell on this beautiful velvet purse and I ended up paying it $6. So we love a good bargain. It looked brand new. The person probably never wore it. I go through these phases. I either like my little bags, my satchel bags, or you know, my big oversized bags. And recently I've been loving those. I am so all about big, huge tote bags. I say tote, it's tote bags. <laughs> what the heck? Um, but anyway, and I just love it. You can either make the strap longer or even make it shorter. So if you want to just hold it like let me just pull on this so you guys can see. Um, so you can make the handle shorter. And I don't know, I just thought it was such a cute bag if you want to hold it like this. And it just gives a whole vibe. And for the price, it was definitely worth it. That is it for the haul part. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which piece is your favorite. Comment down below on what you guys would want to see next. I love to hear your suggestions. Thank you all so much for watching. You guys are the best. I love you always. Have an amazing day. Mwah!